How's everyone doing? So today I just want to do a little comparison video on the uh, protection of your firearm, your field firearm that you use for say hunting. Um, as everyone knows, my first video I did was on the uh, comparison of the Mossberg 500, the Remington 870. Um, my field firearm is my Remington 870. And uh, actually since that video, and I'll show you that the uh, weapon is clear. I got a 20-inch uh, smooth bore replacement Remington barrel. Um, it's got rifled sights. And then, as everyone knows, with a smooth bore, you can basically shoot anything out of it. I can shoot rifled slugs, everything from bird shot to all sorts of, you know, all the different kind of buck shots out of it. Um, personally, like this past weekend, I went rabbit hunting. This week, I'm going to go rabbit hunting. Personally, I use a Winchester 3-inch Magnum uh, turkey load when I go small game hunting. I just prefer it. It's copper plated. Um, it's not like little, you know, I'm not going to be picking little lead BBs out of my food after i uh, done shot processed and cooked it. Plus, it's a 3-inch Magnum, so it's, um, you know, it's got a little bit more power to the round. Reach out there and... Uh, touch the uh, target a little bit better but what I wanted to do today was I wanted to uh, go over some protection of the metal parts of your uh, firearm that you would use for hunting um, out in the field Now I know a lot of people like when I clean my firearm I use the Remington shotgun cleaner um, and then I go over all the parts the internals and everything with a little three-in-one oil maybe give the outside a little coating of three-in-one oil well when I'm out in the field Sometimes I need a little bit more protection, say from snow or, you know, rain or whatnot. You might be in a, you know, moist area, moist climate. Um, I use one thing. It's uh, it's called bag bomb, and it's been around for about a century, and uh, a little bit more. And it was actually originally used. Um, its original purpose was for cow's udders. It uh, it's a petroleum-based product that contains lanolin. Um. It's good for like chapped lips, dry hands, things like that. I mean, I know my grandmother for years, she used to use it almost like hand cream or like, like how a chapstick. Um, you can use it for tons of other things. I w I've been keeping a tin in my house for a decade. Um, I use it for everything from squeaky hinges to, uh, you know, rusty bolts. In fact, I knew a guy, he used to, um, he used to work on cars. And say when he changed the starter, he's going to put the new bolts in. He would put a little bit of this on the threads, set it uh, kept from you know having bolts rust and you know make them tough to get out. And you know if he ever had to change the starter again or something, he would he would put a little bit of this on it. It was good against corrosion protection. But what I'm you know this video about for uh, firearms is is during World War II, um, a lot of soldiers would use this product and rub it on their M1A Garens or their 30 cal carbines uh, to protect against corrosion and rust. In fact, uh, I believe some of the uh, Arctic explorers would do the same thing. And I do it. I take a little bit and just rub it on the, you know, you know, the Remington 870's parking eyes. So I rub it on, you know, the metal parts of the of the 870, and then just a little bit on the tips of my fingers. Uh, it doesn't take much. And then I just rub it down with a uh, old holy sock or a terry cloth or something. Just kind of buff it in and it gives it a good, good uh, layer of protection. Kind of like uh, like how car wax would or whatnot. You'll see if you get moisture on it, it kind of beads like car wax. But it's an excellent protector. I mean, there's all sorts of products out there these days. People will put everything from WD-40 to you know, Mobile One synthetic on their weapons. And to go back to that, don't ever put WD-40 on your weapon. WD stands for water displacement. If you put it on your firearm long enough, it eventually gums up and almost forms like a varnish on it. I've actually seen uh, like a Mossberg shotgun a buddy of mine had. I think he got it from his dad. And he'd been putting uh, uh, WD on it for years and almost formed like a varnish. He couldn't even take the barrel out. He had to end up taking it to a gunsmith. But if you uh, want something that's safe to put on metal, if you think about metal, metal's porous. Well, cow's udders are porous. Their skin, our skin is porous. Bag bomb. Great. I wouldn't even say alternative. I would say for me, it's my go-to. It's 
it's the product I use above anything else when I'm protecting my fire in the field, even over oil, rem oil, you know, uh, just your, your, you know, your common three in one. It's, it, it stays on the, on the firearm. Well, you know, it, 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 it takes a lot to wear it off and, um, it's actually pretty easy to clean off the firearm as well. I mean, just a little shotgun cleaner, a little hops number nine over it'll clean it right off if you're worried about it staying on the weapon. Um, but this stuff right here, it's in a green tin. Like I said, you can pick it up at many feed stores, CVS, Walgreens. I think Kmart carries it. Um, you know, even like some hardware stores will carry it. It's about seven, eight bucks for a tin this big. I think the last tin I had lasted me six months, but. It's a great product so if you're looking for something to protect your firearm well in the field you're looking for something that that has that level of protection that's maybe a little bit better maybe you've been disappointed with the oil oil based products that you've been buying go in your grandmother's cabinet you know go in your you, you, your uncle's medicine chest see what they use go to your local hardware store see what they have Vermont made in Vermont tried and tested proven for over a hundred years bag bomb Hope you enjoyed that video and have a great day.